Have you recently said yes to a party invitation and regret it ever since? Well, I got some excuses you awkward fucks can use. Excuse one, your apartment is on fire. Nobody leaves an oven on these days. And I'm pretty sure ever since the year of the air fryer, it's just taken over. To the point where people keep trying to tell me that air fried steaks taste good. I, I do not want, I will never believe that. I don't want to hear about it. Next tip. Go to an old folks home, find a sweet old person with dementia. Then you're gonna wanna FaceTime your friends and say, hey, I can't show up, my family's in town. And using this sweet old person is the greatest alibi. If anything, they'll probably think you're one of their grandkids or something at this point. But if things go tits up, eventually they'll forget about it. Next tip is you have a pet that has separation anxiety and if you don't get home as quick as possible, they're gonna they're gonna piss and shit all over the place and tear your, tear your shoes up and all that. And bonus points, you can even say that you're spending too much money on new pairs of shoes because your dog or cat keeps shitting in them. Another one is you have a family emergency. Maybe Gam Gam fell and can't get up. Someone you know ended up blowing a tire on the freeway and you gotta go help them out. Maybe your stepsis got stuck in the dryer and you gotta go help her get unstuck. Or you can say your dad needs to help hold the flashlight so he can take out some pent up frustrations on you. Cause it's a whole lot cheaper than therapy. Another excuse is your father that went out for cigarettes five years ago finally came back. You can say that while at a red light, a car full of clowns jumped out and slashed your tires, but they only slashed like three of them so insurance won't even cover it. Don't ever say how excited you were to be at the party. It just comes off as fake. It's kind of like those people that say everything you do is wonderful. You know, not everything you do is fucking wonderful. It just comes off as a list of BS excuses at the end of it. Don't say how excited you were for it. They'll know you were lying. Next tip, you have a terrible migraine and it makes you think you're John Malkovich for like five minutes, but you never know when it's gonna happen. Then you gotta do your best John Malkovich impression. I know this will come off as sounding a little fake, but that's the thing is it, it, you, you just gotta add that it's so sporadic that you never know when it's gonna happen. Your wallet fell out of your pocket and ended up in a storm drain, so you had to go fishing for it, but you ended up going inside of it and now you're lost. You can say you can't come because someone from work ended up calling in sick, so you covered their shift, but a few minutes before closing, you were in the bathroom and got locked inside. Say that your grandparent is sick, but you don't have insurance, so you gotta perform open heart surgery on them, but make sure to leave doctor's names out of this. Like, like no doctors at all, you can't have any loose ends, or else it'll just be unbelievable. You can say that your kid or younger sibling ended up falling asleep on the bus on their way home and then ended up in Mexico and nobody speaks English. You can say you're having an existential crisis about the Mandela effect and how you swear Pikachu had a black stripe on his tail because I swear to God he fucking did. And Fruit of the Loom had a cornucopia. I swear there was a cornucopia there. I'm not just imagining this shit, but apparently so. I guess nowadays the world just loves gaslighting me and making me feel crazy. Say the parties are a government conspiracy that are supposed to keep us like obedient and docile. So that way the dopamine rush keeps us from asking too many questions. And with this one, this is going to help you get uninvited from any party in the future. They just won't, they, they won't call back after this. You can say that on the way to the party that the GPS messed up and now you're in the middle of the woods and all you hear is banjos playing. Say you just got into watching Stranger Things and you can't leave the couch until you've binge watched every episode. People won't even question it. By this time with the popularity of it, a lot of people are going to understand. And if anything, they're just going to ask you, what episode are you on and at that point they're gonna either spoil it for you or just tell you oh no 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 keep watching keep watching they're gonna encourage you to sit there and watch stranger things say you adopted to a fund to help out starving ethiopian kids and instead of them sending you a watch they sent you a full ethiopian kid now you got to find a translator to figure out what this kid even eats another excuse is you took the biggest shit of your life and now you're waiting on a world guinness representative to see if it's a new world record someone broke into your house and now you need your friends to contact liam neeson this could actually buy you quite some time because i'm pretty sure it's it's very difficult to get a hold of liam neeson the biggest tip to get out of going to any parties is don't have friends I guarantee you this is the best way. Now you can just sit at home and watch me act like a jackass. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Bye now.